this is Devansh Lakhani from Lakhani Financial Services. Uh, we all have heard about stories about uh, you know successful startups. We've read stories about successful startups, watched videos about successful entrepreneurs, uh, successful startups, businesses, organizations, read blogs about such companies and such startups. But how many of y'all have heard stories about failed startups or failed organizations or failed companies? Uh, how many of y'all have done that actually and how many of y'all take interest in knowing about startups that have failed and mind you I'm not talking about startups where less resources or less money was invested less efforts was done very very costly startups that have failed in the recent past so guys today my video is going to be about four costliest Indian startups that have failed in the recent past so without wasting any time let's go for it so the first first most costliest Indian startup that has failed in the recent past is none other than the cryptocurrency major platform called Zeppe. So this platform, this company, this startup Zeppe was formed by Saurabh Bagarwal, Sandeep Goenka and Mahin Gupta in 2015. And it was one of the biggest platforms in India for trading of cryptocurrency coins. Uh, there were almost 3 million plus registered users who were using and who were trading in uh, cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Litcoin and other cryptocurrencies. But however, due to the RBI circular of ban on cryptocurrencies from on 6th April 2019, this was completely, uh, you know, it created a havoc in the startup in the company and they had to shut down. Obviously not their mistake, it was some external macro force that was the reason why they had to start up but it was one of the costliest startups. They had received a funding of over $1 million uh, just before that circular had come and this was, you know, it, was, it just shut down because of this particular circular. So that's the first one, Zeppe. The second such startup, a costliest, one of the costliest Indian startups that has failed in the last few years is none other than Dudwala. Dudwala is a, a subscription based milk delivery platform which was founded in 2015 by Akash Agarwal and Ibrahim Akbari. This particular startup, it used to deliver a mind boggling figure of 30,000 liters of milk daily that also before 7 a.m. at people's houses in three cities that is Pune, Bangalore and Hyderabad. Malab, this was a mind-boggling figure what they used to do. In fact, they have gone on on record to say that in this industry, they are the lowest operationally, uh, you know, uh, cost kind of a uh, function that they had. And this was the only business that was working at this kind of a low operational cost. But what happened later on was after a few years down the line, Ibrahim mentioned in the uh, email to its employees that this uh, the startup the delivery operations was going to be taken over by its rival called fresh meat and they are going to discontinue the operations later on it also came to uh, the know of people that both the founders were absconding and the employees had filed an fir against them for non-payment of salary now this is it was all for uh, we don't know the reason no one knows the reason it's not really out out there but these, this was one of the big startups, a very well funded startup which went bust uh, for unforeseen circumstances which no one knows. So that's the second company called Dudwala. The third such startup which went bust, one of the costliest startups again in India is none other than Rush. Now Rush had started in 2012 uh, with another name called Get My Pune but after it received uh, funding in 2015 from Angels of around $250,000 it had rebranded itself and named itself Rush. It also created a mobile application. Now what does this startup do is the startup provided services, manpower services for every homes and in fact in a span of 3 to 4 years it had completed 5 lakh tasks uh, all across Mumbai and it had over 50,000 loyal customers uh, you know who it was serving on a regular basis but later on it came to the know-how that this company was going to shut its operations due to lack of funding and due to the competition that was also building up so this is one startup called Rush based out of Mumbai which had to start, shut its operations and it's one of the failed startups the fourth such startup which uh, went bust, one of the costliest Indian startups is called Loan Meet. Now Loan Meet was founded by two people. One was a US returned uh, investor who used to invest in uh, a US based startup by giving loans 
called uh, Prosper. So that his name was Sunil Kumar. He was an active lender in a platform called Prosper, which is a US based P2P lending platform. And he came here, he along with his, uh, you know, partner named Ritesh, they started this platform on a startup called Loan Meet with an initial capital of 25 lakhs from friends and families. Uh, what, what, what does this platform do? Uh, he, he found out that there was a major problem in the Indian tier 2, tier 3 towns that, you know, retailers were not being able to get fi uh, collateral free loans, you know, which is required to purchase inventory, etc. Uh, for a very short, uh, short term, that is 15 days, 20 days, 30 days, etc. So he started this platform which provided loans to retailers, collateral free loans at a higher interest rate. Uh, for 15 days, 30 days, etc. So this is what he started. But eventually, that startup had to go bust. Why? The main reason was lack of capital, which actually, you know, uh, made the startup to quit its operations, to shut its operations. So that's the fourth costliest startup, you know, in India, which went bust over the past few years is Loan Meet. So guys, if you've liked this video on the four costliest Indian startups that have gone bust or that have failed in the past few years, please subscribe to our channel, click on the like button below, click on the notification bell so that we make sure we are at your uh, uh, YouTube channel, we are at your mobile phones with giving you the best possible content on business, startups, entrepreneurship, investment and would also love to know from you guys in the comment section below any other startup that y'all have read which has gone bust which has failed but which was a beautiful company when it was in operations but however and it was costly like there was a lot of uh, funding that had gone behind it but however due to any reason that startup had to shut its operations and it was it had failed so please do mention in the comment section below we would love to hear from you guys what y'all think about it thanks a lot guys